Joe, when you announced earlier today that CC Sabathia was going to the DL, you said this team is resilient, but now yeah. Andy Pettit too. How do you go on and how do you bounce Been back? Bad day for left-handers today. Um, you know, guys going to have to step up. Adam Warren's going to be here um, to make that start for us on Friday, and uh, we'll move Freddie now to Monday. Um, and guys are just going to have to step up. What went into your decision to use Freddie today? And not, well, not I felt I needed to try to win the game, and Freddie did an outstanding job, and um, – you know, he's one of the reasons we won this game today. You originally let Pettit in. What did he tell you? Why did you decide to go that direction? And when did you realize this might be a little worse than you originally? Well, I saw him throw a couple pitches, and each pitch got better. And he said, he said, I'm okay. Let me try it. And I said, okay, well, let's try it. And I saw him throw the one pitch. And obviously, when he had to put a little bit more intensity into it, um, he kind of hobbled, and that made me, you know, take him out. Have you spoken with him at all yet? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's frustrating. Uh, you know, you get hit with a ball up the middle in the leg, and, um, you know, you're going to be out four to six weeks before you can probably throw a baseball. Joe, can you put into words how bad of a day this was, two-fifths of your rotation? Yeah, it's not what you're looking for, I can tell you that. Um, when I came to the park, you know, it felt pretty good about the, the way we've been playing. <laughs> you know, CC's hurt, and now Andy's hurt. But as I said, you know, no one's going to feel sorry for us. And guys have to step up. That's the bottom line. Four to six weeks before he could throw a baseball. So realistically, yeah. obviously, depending on how he heals. Um, I'm not going to get into time. You know, I'll let the doctors. You know, and I'm just assuming four to. They said four yeah, to. So six. six. Yeah. So when we get him, we get him. Mark. So two questions. When you see that ball go off Andy's leg, how scary is that? Right away. Well, I mean, your initial reaction is he's not going to break something. You know, you're thinking, well, I might have to make a change. But your initial reaction is, you know, shoot, you know, we're probably going to have to pull him from this start. Um, and you hope he can make his next start. I never imagined that he was going to be in a boot, you know, the next time I saw him. So um, it's, it's scary, it's frustrating, but it's baseball. And with, I know, CC, you're only looking at two starts here with Andy out for a significantly so, longer yeah. period of time. Do you guys think you may need to go get help elsewhere, or are you hoping well, Adam Warren can maybe be the answer? We're hoping that he can do the job. And um, another kid that we're building up is Phelps as well. Um, so, uh, you know, these guys are going to get an opportunity to step up. Hello, Andrew. How far along is Phelps in terms of building up? I you know, I'm not sure, Andrew. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how many games he's thrown in, so it's, I would have to really – Dig in a little deeper to find out. Dan. Was it a good sign today, just the way the team came back after, you know, losing Andy and, yeah. you know, having uh, kind of being in a hole there? Yeah, you get it's, the future. It, you know, I said this has been a resilient club, and you get a, a couple big hits by Chavi today and a big hit by Robbie Cano. Uh, Chavi did an excellent job today. Um, filling in so I mean it, it, it's what you have to do I mean this is it's a long haul and you're going to go through your injuries and you got to find a way to get through them Mark to your right Joe how's Martin doing it seemed like he got welcomed back in a pretty hard way no he, I think he's fine we'll see how he wakes up tomorrow Oh, off, well, I knew he was okay because he's going to go to his knees and, and kind of his head's going to go down if it really hurts so um, I, I, from my viewpoint, I thought he got hit in the mask, and, and that's a lot better than getting hit in the, you know, the skull cap. Dave. Joe, you mentioned guys stepping up in the rotation and, and trying to fill those voids a little bit. I mean, can a team, you guys are a very good offensive team. Can an offense generate enough to, to make up for losing two good pitches like that? Yeah, I mean, I think you can. Um, you know, we're not expecting to be without CC that long, and, um, you know, up until the All-Star break, there's going to be four starts that guys are going to have to fill in. And if we have to score more runs, we'll score more runs. Chad. So what is it that you're seeing from Freddie that's making such a difference from what we saw in April? I think there's more arm speed for me. Um, his velocity's better. His slider's sharper. His split's better. He's con commanding his split. And that's been the big difference. Ian. Joe, when during the game did you first get word that the news was grim with Andy? And when you hear that word, fracture, what were your emotions just, just hearing that word? Um, I, I got it about the sixth. 
Um, and Stevie came out and said, you know, he, he fractured his fibula. And in my mind, I'm saying, is he telling me a fib or w what is he doing here? You know, because I never imagined that's what it was. Um, you don't see it that often. And, you know, you find out and, and you think about, okay, we got to move on, you know. And he's extremely important to us, but like Mo said, you, you can't think about me being here. I'm, you, you guys got to move on and you got to go on and do your job. And that's what we got to do. And I'm not trying to be cold, but. As I said, no one's going to feel sorry for us. Andy doesn't want us to feel sorry for him. He wants us to go out and continue to win. Mark? Joe, what did you see with Soriano in the ninth? And I know he's pitched four out of five days. Do you think he's just yeah. maybe getting Yeah, he might tired? be a little fatigued, a day game after a night game. You know, there's a good chance I'll give him tomorrow off. I'll see how he feels. But that, that could have been it. It looked like he was just missing today. All the way in the back, Joe, to your right. Joe, what do, what do these two injuries mean for guys like Nova and Hughes start stepping, stepping it up with those two out now? Well, the big thing is that what our guys understand is Nova and Hughes and Corota can't make the starts for CC and Andy. So just be yourself. Don't try to do too much because when you do that, usually things go awry. So to me, the big thing is just saying, just reminding them, just go out and do what you do, and uh, we'll take care of the other two days. It's not your responsibility. Joe to the left. It's maybe getting too far ahead, but does it change – we how you do that around here? <laughs> how you handle those guys, as far as you know, protecting the bullpen, as far as maybe riding those guys a little more with, mm -hmm. with the innings you may be doing without. No, I, I don't think I can do that because I, I don't want to have a trio on the deal. That's I, I don't want that. So I got to treat them the same. And you know, you might see more up and down guys going up and down to make sure that we have a long enough relief. That's my what, what you might see.